Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the 17th edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will show you how to configure your DJ controller or how to edit the default configuration of your DJ controller in DJ Pro 2. Let's get started. So DJ Pro 2 natively supports all sorts of DJ controllers, but sometimes you might want to change what some of the buttons or knobs are programmed to do. You also might have a DJ controller that isn't natively supported, but you still might want to use it with the software. So first what we're going to do is plug in the DJ controller. And once we plug it in, we'll see a message on the screen like this. My audio output is not going to be used from this, so I'm going to uncheck that and then keep everything else the same, and then hit OK. And the first thing that we want to do is go up to MIDI, and then go to Configure DDJRB. Now, if you're using a different controller, it'll say Configure, whatever that controller is. Whether or not it's natively uh, supported, it should still say the name of the DJ controller that you're going to configure. And once we click that, we see this screen on the left. And I'm going to just briefly go over what each column represents. So first, let's look at the control column. This tells us what exact MIDI note that we are using to control. Um, for instance, this, the first one, this is the controlling of my crossfader. So that's this right here. If you see, if I move this on the DJ controller, um, it automatically highlights it here. If I pick something else, like the hot cue, my first hot cue button right here, it would go and select that, or highlight that, I should say. But let's go back to the crossfader. This column to the left of control right here, this just shows whether or not um, we're dealing with a button, kind of like our hot cue, or a fader slash knob, something that we can have different values at. So I'll go back to the crossfader again. Next is the target. So this shows us whether or not we're dealing with a mixer, something on the decks, uh, something with the music library, sampler, microphone, or general. And this selected deck is the same as one of these decks. And then we have the action on the right. And this tells us what exactly um, the button or fader is programmed to do. So these are all of the possible controls for this uh, crossfader right here. So let's say I want to change this to deck two line volume. I'm going to click on that right now. And then when I move this crossfader right here, we see that, whoops, we see that this is being affected and not our crossfader. So I'm going to change that back right now. One thing to mention is that depending on whether or not you're using a button or a knob, there are different actions that you can control. So since this is a like a knob fader, um, it's going to be different than something in the mixer, for instance, like this Q1 button. So if I click on that, I have a lot more um, options that I can choose here. So I'm going to get back to the crossfader here. One other thing to mention is that if you're using shift, shift is not a MIDI button. So if you see I click this shift key, it's not being used. Uh, we don't see anything on the screen right here. But if I hit shift and then another button, let's say I hit shift and then, whoops, let's say I hit shift and this, we see that this is a different um, control we can have than if I don't hit this button without shift. So there are two different um, commands that you can use. So obviously there's all sorts of things you can do with this, and my suggestion would be to keep the things that you like in the default if you're using the default, and then change the things that you don't like. If you are going to be using a controller that is not supported, um, it will take a while for you to configure it, but you could get something that you like um, by using these settings. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. 
If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, and sound design tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Yeah.